What do Cheesecake, Jerusalem, and Torah all have in common? This little lady. <laughs> you and some of your closest friends are gonna help us celebrate Shavuot. <laughs> Shavuot? You might know it as Pentecost. Okay, wait, let's back up. Way up. It all started with this kind of goat. Moses, who was considered by the Jewish people to be the greatest prophet of all time. A shepherd of a goat just like this. That's right, your ancestors continued after Moses' time to be very important in the land of Israel, helping the ancient Israelites to serve God. Whoa. Did you know that goat hair was woven into the curtains for the tabernacle? And goats were actually sacrificed as sin offerings. All in the land of milk and honey. And speaking of milk, where do you think this came from? Right again, the goat. But even before we lived in the land of milk and honey, we had the Torah, God's word. Like milk for a baby, the Bible is our spiritual nourishment for our souls. And we celebrate the receiving of the Torah on Mount Sinai on the holiday of Shavuot. In Hebrew, Shavuot literally means weeks. And just as the Israelites counted seven weeks from the first Passover until Shavuot, we continue to do that today. Shavuot is one of the three festivals that every Jew was required to celebrate in Jerusalem. Shavuot is exactly 50 days from Passover, and Shavuot, Pentecost, means 50 in Greek. 50, like a herd of 50 goats. The Torah is the nourishment for our bodies and our souls. And because it is our spiritual milk, on Shavuot, you'll see all kinds of delicacies made from milk. We're going to need some milk, kids. Hey, it's Shavuot soon. Do I have a volunteer? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just like your ancestors in the days of old, you're helping us to celebrate before God. Happy, Happy Shavuot! Shavuot.